Hello friends, so today we are going to discuss the problem A from Educational Code Forces Round 88. So the problem statement states that there is a game of Verland poker in which the, there is a deck of cards in which there are n cards from which m of which are jokers. So there are a total of n cards and m of them are jokers. K players play this game and n is divisible by k. So there are a total of n cards from which M are jokers and total K players play this game. At the beginning, everyone gets N by K cards. So as you can see, N is divisible by K. Every person will get equal number of cards. And thus the joker will get distributed among all the players. Okay. So now as you can see, the person who has the maximum number of jokers is the winner. Okay. So any person will get the maximum number of jokers. And the point he will get is equal to X minus Y. Whereas X is the number of jokers in the winner's hand. So because winner will have the maximum number of jokers. So it means that X minus Y is X is the number of jokers in the winner's hand. Which is the maximum number. And Y is the maximum number of jokers among all the other players. So now the other players will have some other number of jokers. Which are except the maximum number of jokers. So you have to find out the second maximum. As you can see if you understand it. So the point is actually the first maximum minus the second maximum. The first maximum is the maximum which is in the winner's hand and the second maximum is the maximum among all the other players. Okay, so there are also these examples and you have to find out the maximum number of points. So you want to maximize this. So if you want to maximize this, how you can do it? You, you If you want to maximize, you have to increase X which means the winner will get the maximum number of jokers and the other players is get the jokers such that the maximum of them is small as possible. I hope you understand. So let me take you to the examples and it will become more clear. So I have taken down these examples. Top 3 to make it more clear. Okay. So now this is N, M and K. Now because there are 8 cards and total of 3 jokers which is divided among 2 players. So now if there are total of 2 players, how many cards did every person get? 8 divided by 2 which is equal to 4. Now 4 cards will like every person will get 4 cards. And there are total of three jokers. So what is your strategy to divide the jokers? Because there are only two people. We will take all the three jokers to the first person and give no, no joker to the second person. Such that because the first person will always get the maximum cards. Okay. Now first see how many cards are there which each person get. Every person will get four cards. And now as you can see there are the number of jokers is less than the card which every person will get. So, so what it will be our strategy is we will we will give all the cards to the maximum person such that the rest of the person will get no cards and it will be turn out to be zero. I hope you understand because if the first person will get the maximum number of jokers, the rest person will get no jokers. Okay. Now take out to take down to the second example. Now, if there are four persons and four cards, the total every person will get get one card. Now, as you can see. Every person will get one card and there are two cards. So first decide how many cards will the winner will get. The winner will get at most one card because it has it can only get one card. So divide one, give one to the winner. Now how many cards are left? There is only one card left. So now divide one among all the rest people. Okay. If you divide one among all the rest people and find out the maximum everyone will get. Okay. So as you can see, because there is only one card left, and if we divide it among the, all the rest, the maximum we will receive is 1. So the answer will be 0 for this. If we minus maximum, which is the winner first, I have taken the winner to be first. Minus the maximum of all these 3, it is 1. So our answer is become 0. As you can see, the answer of second is 0. Now for the third case, the total number of players is 3. And every person will get how many? 3 cards. Because there are total of 9 cards. Now because there are total of 6 jokers, what will be our strategy is first we'll give the maximum number of cards to the winner in which how many maximum card he can take he can take maximum of three cards and we have jokers more than three so we will first satisfy the need of the winner and we will get, give three cards to the winner now how many cards are left we are left with uh, we are left with three cards so now we have to divide three cards among these two people so that we want to minimize everyone how many card will get so we will equally divide everyone. So we will get one this, one this, and then because one is left, we will give thus one. And thus the total 
maximum among all of them is this one, that is 2. So 3 minus 2 becomes 1. So the answer of this is 1. I hope you understand the logic and it, as well as the uh, like the examples I have told you. So the first criteria will be we will first satisfy if M is less than the total number of cards which everyone will give. We will give all the cards to the maximum player and nothing to the else. So the answer will become 3 which is actually equal to the M. Okay. But if as you can see if uh, the total number of cards is just 3 and the total number of jokers is more we will first give all the cards to the winner players how many cards he can get and then equally divide it among all the rest players and see find out the maximum which we can get. I hope you understand it now let's move down to the code and it will be more clear so what I have done here is so this is nmk I have taken down the input then a defines n divided by k like how many players are there if how many like how many uh, sorry how many cards each person will get if the number of cards each person is get is greater than or equal to m it means the winner can get all the jokers then we can easily give all the jokers to the winner and the answer is just equal to m okay just we done out because it's a function else what we will do is we will first satisfy the winner now the winner is defined by this so we will first satisfy the winner and winner will be having a cards at the max because this is the number of cards everyone will get so we will, we will give a cards to d now we will find out how many cards we will give to everyone so we will equally divide the rest of the cards among the k minus 1 people because the first person has taken all the cards now we have to divide these person among all the like m minus a so the, like how many cards everyone will get minus this m among all the rest of the people so we have to find out the seal why we have to find out the seal because if we find out the floor or if we just divide just divide out then uh, the answer will be the lower number we will get the minimum one but we have to find out the maximum one so we can actually find out the seal of it so we are just finding out m minus a which are the rest number of jokers divide out by k minus one which means the one we are removing because we have given the maximum number to the first person and then we are finding out the seal and we are just uh, minusing it because we have to find out the score which is a like x minus or, or like i written out the minus so that's the answer I hope you understand the logic as well as the code I made it more clear. So if you understand my logic and understand the concept, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.